so you got pregnant and didn't die. Thanks, Coach Carr. <gasps> Don't have sex, because you will get pregnant and die. While a lot of people think motherhood is all leave it to beaver and ballerina farm, motherhood in America is more like Dante's Inferno, without any of the fun stuff. According to the Pew Research Center, more cis men than women say they want to have children. And it's not just because men think that kids will make them instant zaddies. It's because they don't have to do any of the hard parts. They don't have to grow a human from scratch like a chia pet. They don't have to tear their perineum, pushing a screaming goblin through their genitals. They don't have to feed it with their own bodies. All they have to do is go outside, toss the ball around, and say, I'm proud of you, son. Or not, if they're in an Arthur Miller play. I'm Sabra Kochis. And I'm Kelly Sater. And this is Just, Just So You, you Know. know. <laughs> around $3,000 to give birth in America, and that's with insurance. Without insurance, it could be around $10,000. With that amount of money, we could pay somebody to take Sabra on a honeymoon to Cabo. And that's not even accounting for all of the doctor's visits, prenatal vitamins, birthing classes, maternity clothes. And the screen therapy you need for how fucked up the maternity system in America is. Mothers experience a 60% drop in earnings compared to fathers in the decade following the birth of their first child. And a 50% drop in boob altitude. How much of becoming a mom was actually about achieving MILF status? Oh, all of it. What do you think is different about motherhood versus fatherhood? When we run out of the house, the mom is usually the one thinking of like, okay, we have to pack a bag. It has to have diapers, snacks, water, milk, like all the things go through your head and you're constantly thinking about what you need at all hours of the day. And I don't think men or boys grow up kind of trained with those skills of more, like multitasking so aggressively, but there's so much invisible loads that we take and just like pushing out a baby. A 2014 New York Times article claimed that having kids is great for men's careers. Men tend to be hired more after they have kids than childless men, and then they make more money after they have children. And these differences persist even after controlling for factors like types of jobs or hours worked. That's why when I have a baby, I'll be sporting a fun mustache to every one of my job interviews. When I was a newborn, did I look scrunchy and gross like all newborns do? No. <laughs> no. Before you had kids, did you ever consider instead becoming a millionaire? <laughs> no, but kids are expensive, that is for sure. So financially, the combination of not working as much and then, you know, how costly you guys have been, that part has affected us. Now, you know, I work a ton. I can comfortably. So we're, we're making up for lost time. The United States is the only modern industrialized country that does not have family medical leave in place. We are doing worse than Australia, and that is a country filled with British ex-cons and spiders. According to a New York Times article, other countries spend up to $29,000 for childcare per child. The US spends a whopping $500. Come on, government, you spend more than that on the White House turkey trot. On top of all that, the world is kind of in its flop era right now. Climate change is slowly killing us all, wars are ravaging across multiple countries, and if your baby is a girl, she may not have autonomy over her own body. Bringing a baby into this world is a really tough moral and ethical dilemma for potential parents. Like asking a friend to join Survivor. Just because we're taught that women must have children lest they lead a meaningless life sans dry macaroni art, remember that da Vinci, Beethoven, and Van Gogh didn't have kids. And that's probably for the best, because we wouldn't have the Mona Lisa if da Vinci was busy wiping diarrhea off old Italian diapers. Mamma mia! What are some reasons that people decide to remain child-free? ...that we're hearing from Gen Z and millennials um, more and more include the impact that new babies have on the environment, a concern about um, overpopulation and about the climate crisis, the economy and the cost of raising kids and uh, concern about one's ability to actually pay to raise a kid. So to quote an aptly titled article, is now the worst time in American history to be a mother? The short answer, yeah. Unless you were a mom before they invented vaccines. Or Bluey. I'm Sabra Kochas. And I'm Kelly Shader. And this is Just, Just So You Know. know.
This episode of Just So You Know is dedicated to all the strong women in our lives. May we know them, may we be them, may we raise them. If we can afford it. See you next season.